Hello, and welcome back to another in our series of short video tutorials covering Corel's flagship video editing application, Video Studio Pro. In this one, I would like to show you another brand new feature in the newest version of X3. I'm talking about the ability to add title effects. As far back as I can remember, there has been the ability to add special effects to video clips. In fact, X3 now includes a bunch of new ones like Auto Sketch, Picture in a Picture Animator, and more. Also new is now you can add video effects to videos in the overlay tracks. But I'm here to show you another feature, and that's the ability to add effects to titles. Video Studio has never been able to add effects to the title track before. The great thing about these new features is that if you're already familiar with adding effects to video clips, then you pretty much know how to add them to titles too. And just like video effects, you can add and customize multiple effects to titles. Let's see how, shall we? Since these new features are only available in Advanced Edit, that's what I'll launch into. We can go right to the Edit tab at the top and select the FX step on the right here, or in the center. You can click any one of these without yet having any content in your timeline to preview what they might do to your titles, so try some. Now let me add a title to my timeline and apply some of these effects. For this, I'll go to the title step, make sure I'm rewound back at the beginning, and just type in a title by double-clicking here on the screen. Hit the alignment button here to put it in the center. That's all there is to it. And then click in the title track to add it. I can adjust the length by dragging it out just that easily. Go back to my effects tab. Make sure I'm in title effects, and I can drag and drop any of these title effects right on the title itself in the track, and rewind and play. Real-time rendering. That is awesome. Great, now how do I edit this? Double-click on your title in the title track to bring up the options panel, and go to attributes. And here is the effect we just applied. If I click the downward arrow here, I can choose different choices, or I can go in and customize it like so, but let me get into that in just a moment. If I want to add another effect, I can do that by dragging and dropping another one, and it will just add it to my list like so. All right, well, let me go off and make a whole bunch of them, and we'll come back and preview them and customize some. I'll be right back. All right, so I've created a bunch of animated titles using these effects. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see more of them. As you can see, I've also added a soundtrack and some graphics in the background just to give it some perspective. Another added advantage of the new title effects in Video Studio X3 are the multitude of variations that can be created with each one. Let's look at some of these choices. Make sure our options panel is open by double-clicking any of the titles. Again, go to the Attributes tab. Make sure your title selected the timeline. And again, click the downward arrow allowing you to see many of the presets that are available for you. See where it says Customize Filter? Click on that next. This allows you to customize it using keyframe technology. Using this effect timeline, I can add keyframes where I can change the attributes of any of these effects. Video Studio will then interpolate all the in-between frames automatically based on the start and end points of my keyframes. Take this light effect for instance. Let me play the original. Over on the left, you can see where the light is going. Over on the right is a preview of the finished product. OK, I'm going to add a keyframe in the middle. So I'll move the playback head towards the middle and click the plus mark here to add a keyframe. Now I can only make changes at the keyframe locations. But I can add as many keyframes in here as I want to. So wherever your playback head is, just click right on the keyframe to move it to that location. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the diamond here and move it all the way down to the lower right. And then click on my last keyframe and move it all the way back. Now it should play back and forth. Let's preview that quickly. It's going quicker now. It should get to the end in the middle and then start moving back. That's how easy it is to customize a video effect. Also in here, you can see we can change the light color, ambient color, and many other choices as well. 
Again, these can only be done at keyframes, so make sure you have a keyframe highlighted before attempting to make any of these changes. Okay, so what about adding multiple effects to a title? What does that look like? Let's look at the wind and the old film setup. I added the old film because it enhances the stormy effect by making it look like lightning. I can click an eye on either of these to turn them off and preview what they might look like without each one. There's just the wind. There's just the old film. In some cases, changing the order of your effects may also provide a different combination. And you can do that by hitting the arrow down or the arrow up. But that's usually better suited for effects applied to video clips. Well, that should provide a decent overview of how to add effects to your titles. Again, it's done the same way you've added effects to your video clips. Try some yourself, have fun, and we'll see you next time. This, this, is, this is something, man. This is, this is our generation, man. All you people, we're all together, man. It's groovy. Well, dig yourselves, because it's really groovy.